We're continuing to mark Black History Month today. Today, we're shining some light on Stanford native and state representative Hubert Delaney. Delaney replacing Caroline Simmons, who recently resigned following her election as Stanford mayor. News 12 Connecticut's Lauren Farisi joins us live with his story today. Lauren? Rick, Black History Month is a month that Hubert Delaney says is incredibly important to him. The 28-year-old served in the military for several years before taking on a new role as state representative. Well, we took a trip down memory lane with him right here on Bedford Street to see how his ancestry shaped him into the person that he is today. I've known about my family history and about my personal history all my life. And that's one of the reasons why black history is so important to me. A time of reflection. I'm um, Hubert Douglas Delaney III, and we recycle names in my family. A name with deep roots. My great-grandfather, Hubert Thomas Delaney I, was a civil rights icon, a advisor to a lot of civil rights leaders, and the attorney to Martin Luther King. Dr. Martin Luther King, JR. He helped get him out of jail. A name empowering the next generation. For me, when I heard about these stories of these, these matriarchs, these patriarchs in my family that would do these amazing things, you know, it made me feel like I could do it. It made me feel like I had my own connection, that I could be great too. And so a young Hubert Delaney became involved in the Stanford community, joining organizations like the Urban League and the National Black NBA Association. If you're a young person of color, and you go to a, a town hall and you see the members of your community standing up there that look like you, you know, it makes you feel more confident in your ability to go up there. So yeah, this is, uh, this is where I joined the Army. Delaney took that confidence to the United States Army, enlisting in 2015. I've covered operations all around the world, all around the state all around the country. He'd go on to spend several years telling stories. And when you're doing military journalism, you're not giving anyone a voice. People have their own, and it's your job to try to help amplify it if you can. And if in you know, doing that, maybe you can remind people that their voice matters. I do. Congratulations. Woo! <laughs> it's the same mindset Delaney has now as he writes a new chapter of life, representing Stanford's 144th district in the state legislature. I think for me, it's about listening. It's about respecting others. Reflecting on his past while looking to the future. To be a mirror and a torch. A mirror so that others can see themselves where I stand. And a torch to be able to pass on to others, to be able to lift people up. You know, that's, that's what was done for me, and it's my responsibility to do that for others. A mirror and a torch, an incredibly powerful statement there. And you know, Rick, something else that stuck out to me during the course of our conversation was that Delaney had mentioned that he believes that being a great leader involves listening four times and speaking once in Stanford. Lauren Fabrizi, News 12, Connecticut.